Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Loving Little Learners. Today, I wanna to show you all how you can make a daily student journal to use within your Google Classroom. So I know a lot of you guys are using Google Classroom to assign your work and your lessons, and this way you can have everything in one place. I made a video earlier showing you guys how to do it in Seesaw. So this is perfect for everyone who is using Google Classroom instead, which seems like the other popular platform that um, schools and teachers are using. So first I'm gonna show you my example. Then I'm going to show you how to create one yourself. And lastly, I'm gonna show you how to assign it within Google Classroom. So here is my example of a pretty basic journal, and it's going to have the topics, um, the subjects, math, science, and writing. Obviously, you can customize this for whatever subjects you're teaching. You can add or take away subjects. You can add your specialist classes, whatever you need um, to display all the content you're responsible for. So I have my tabs here and they each will take me to a different um, screen and I'll show you how to do that here, but I'm just gonna quickly go through each slide. So I have my math lesson followed by my math student work page. Then I will have my science lesson followed by my science student work page. Lastly, my writing lesson followed by my writing student work page. Now these are clickable and they'll take me back to the first slide. And if you look here, you also have an arrow that's clickable that will take your students to their student work slide, like so. Okay, so everything is very interactive. Students can, you can have uh, movable parts that students can complete their activities. You can link other activities, like if you were assigning a different activity on Google Classroom or Seesaw or whatever platform you're using, or you can have them fill it in directly in Google Slides like you would here, where they would learn about what a tornado is and type their answer in. So there's endless possibilities, but let me show you guys how to create one. So you would just go ahead and choose a blank presentation, and from there you'll go ahead and Google um, a whatever co front cover you want for your journal. So you can just do a notebook, a composition book, which are these are the two kind of traditional approaches. You can make it fun with a rainbow cover or um, a little more basic with a zigzag cover, whatever you want. So I'm going to show you guys how to do one with the notebook cover. Okay, so you would just go ahead and Google a picture of a cover of something that you want, like so, figure out what you picture you want and then just right click and copy the image, paste it directly into Google Slides, okay? So once you're ready with your front cover, you're going to add a shape. Go ahead and add a rectangle where you can then customize the color and you can also write um, Monday's journal or whatever day of the week it is you're working on, format it. You can increase the size and choose your font, okay? I also like to include the date, so August 24th, 2020, and then I want this a little smaller. And so this is going to be the front cover of their journal for the day, okay? Um, again, just like my other um, video, you can save this as a template so that you don't have to continue to make it. So now we want to work on the tab. So I just click, chose another rectangle and I'm going to choose a fill color. I'm going to, let's take away that border and I want to just right click, copy, paste, and lay it out how I would like to. Continue this for all of the subjects that you have and then go back and change the colors, okay? Let's do purple. So very simple. And then from there, you're going to choose a text box and create a text box, write your subject names within it. Let's say that is math. And I also want to go back and format, choose whatever font I want and rotate it once I'm done. 
and I can go ahead and put it over this tab here. Again, you're going to, let's copy and paste and change this to writing and copy and paste again and change this to let's just do a special art okay so you can do whatever subjects you want from there we want to add a page and this is now going to be my first subject so i want to do math and i like to keep things very color coordinated um, so i'm going to go ahead and fill this in with yellow, just like the color tab I have here on this first page. So I wanna label this math lesson and shrink the size, format it once again. And here I go, this is my math lesson page. And then also I like to have a home page. So I'm gonna just copy this journal again and I'm going to shrink the size, put it over here, add a text box that says home, and then what I will do is I'm going to click on my picture and then click on this link button here, and then I, I can link an URL, but instead I want to link it to my home page. So I'm going to link that button to the first slide and apply. Again, with the word, just in case they click the word inside of the book, I want to go ahead and press that link button and go to slides in this presentation, choose first slide. Okay, so, oops, sorry, let's go back. You wanna highlight this. If you're gonna link a word, you're gonna highlight it first and then choose first slide, okay? When it's a link, it always changes the color. So you can just, if you'd like, take away the underline and change it back to black. I also wanted to divide the section of my page um, and the buttons that they can use as links and resources. So I chose to click a line and I'm just going to drag a line down my page. And that way it's divided. Okay, so now they know that the lessons are their buttons that they can interact with are here uh, that will take them back to those areas. Okay, so I also wanted to go and create a, I wanna create a student work page. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add another page or actually let's go back, let's duplicate this page. And from there, I'm gonna change this label to math student work, okay, and then I want to resize it so it fits. Okay, so math student work, and I also have my home page that the link still works because I just went ahead and duplicated it. So I also want to go back to this math lesson page and now create an arrow that will take me to their student to remind them to do their student work page. So if I go to shapes, go to arrow, and I want to choose the one that's pointing down and I'm going to go ahead and drag it, change the color to match the label and click so that I can write student work. Again, resize so it fits and format. Okay, and so now I want to link this arrow to take them to the next page, their student work page. So I'm gonna click on it and click on the link and I'm gonna to go to slides in the presentation. From here, you're going to scroll down until it says the next slide. This is important that you choose the next slide because this works no matter where you duplicate this slide again, because we're gonna du duplicate the same slide for the other subjects, okay? So now we're just going to put this link on the math lesson page to remind the students to do their student work journal. Okay, so now I have two more subjects, writing and art. So let's do the next writing subject. We're gonna duplicate the math lesson page and drag it down. And we're going to change the label to writing lesson and change the fill color to match our tab in the front. 
We'll also change the fill color to match the arrow for the student work as well. Okay, then you'll go to the mouse student work page, duplicate, and drag it. And again, change this from math student work to writing student work. Change the color to match your tab. So now I have math lesson, math student work, writing lesson, writing student work. And again, this arrow will take me just to the next page um, regardless because I just chose next slide. And I can do this again and again for as many tabs and subjects that you have for your school and your class. Okay, so let's just pretend that we made them for everyone, every subject, but to save time, we're gonna stop here. And I'm gonna show you how to insert your videos. So you guys can create your own videos on YouTube and upload them there. You can make it public or unlisted, or you can use the videos um, that are already available. So I am going to go ahead and go to insert, choose video, and you can um, insert a URL. You can go directly from your drive um, and upload that way, or you can search directly on YouTube. So let's do a math lesson um, about counting, counting practice. And then we'll search. You can choose whatever one you'd like and just select and it inserts directly in to your page, okay? You can give it a title if you'd like up here. Just go ahead and choose text box and counting practice. And go ahead and format as always however you want. So this is where you can go ahead and customize whatever you need. And then you'll go to your math lesson page and you can go ahead and insert your lesson here um, and repeat these steps. So I can go ahead and insert my, my lesson for writing and then go ahead and let's say I want them to, let's go to writing lesson. Let's say that I want them to watch a video about narrative writing okay and i can go ahead and search for it or i can upload again and choose whichever one i want them to brainstorm so i can go ahead and drop this video here and on their next page i can go ahead and insert a text box where they can then write their brainstorms or as you can see in this other um example i have they're watching the video and then filling in their brainstorm clouds okay so you can make this however you want whichever lessons you want and whichever interactive uh, material that you want when you're done with your journal let's go ahead and title this journal let's say daily journal for monday august 24th okay Oh, this is all ready to go. Let's pretend that it is. It's not actually. And when I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and go to my Google Classroom. This is the home page of my classroom. I'm going to go to Classwork. And then I'm going to create assignment. So I want to say daily journal, August 24th, 2020. Type in my instructions. Please watch each lesson video and click on the arrow to complete your student work. Okay. I can also go ahead and set a due date. So let's say that the date is going to be August 24th by midnight. Okay. And I'm going to choose which students I want to give it out to which would be all students. And then I'm gonna go here to add. From add, I'm going to go to my Google Drive and it's going to go directly to my recent uploads, which is great because I just made this one. And I'm going to click on the journal, oops, the journal I want and go to insert. Now, this is really important. Over here to the right, you have this drop down menu and it has options. So you have the option that students can view this file, they can edit the file, but you don't want to do either of that because when one student goes ahead and edits it, it changes it for every student's view. So what you wanna do is go to make a copy for each student. 
this way students are, oh, I added the wrong thing. That way students are going ahead and turning in their individual work. We don't want to have one student do the work for everybody. We want individual work for each student. So make a copy for each student and then you go ahead and assign. Once it's assigned, it will pop up in the feed for whichever students you assigned it to. And it is also right here. As a teacher, you can see how many people turned it in, how many people you assigned it to, and they can simply click on their link and it will take them to the journal that you've created. Okay, so again, this helps you compact all of your lessons and your assignments all in one area to deliver for the students for each day or each week or whatever it may be. Okay, so if you have any questions, um, go ahead and leave them in the comment section um, below. I am also going to link the finished version of this journal um, in the description box. So make sure that um, you go ahead and grab a copy if you don't wanna make it from scratch and save it as a template that you can make a copy of to edit for each day. Um, but as always, please subscribe to my channel, Loving Little Learners, and I hope you stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.